This video demonstrates the technology required to build an Arduino-controlled, stepper motor-driven, bowl feeder escapement. This escapement picks parts up from a single feed location and then drops them singularly into one of two outfeed chutes, but the principle will work for many other applications. The hardware required for the project includes one NEMA 17 stepper motor, one TB6600 stepper motor driver, two inductive proximity sensors, two push buttons, one Arduino Nano and Screw Terminal Breakout Board, one 24 volt to 5 volt signal converter, assorted wire and terminals, and 3D print files in Arduino code. The 3D printing files in Arduino code are linked below this video. The Arduino inputs are wired to pins A1 to A4. We have used a signal converter module to turn the 24 volt signal into a 5 volt one for the Arduino, but this is optional dependent on your hardware. The Arduino outputs are wired to pins D2 to D4 and directly to the TB6600 stepper motor driver. The choice of pins does not matter as long as the code is updated to reflect the change. The Arduino code is broken up into seven main parts. The definition section allocates names to pin numbers and sets variable values. The setup loop sets the pin modes and initial states and then homes the stepper motor on startup using the custom stepper motor home function. The main loop simply contains the four custom functions used and runs indefinitely calling these in sequence. The two drop-off functions test the push buttons for a trigger signal and the number two proximity sensor for drop-off location. If the two conditions are met, the stepper motor will rotate to the correct drop-off location and stop. The stepper home loop is used to return the stepper motor to the pickup position. The stepper motor will constantly seek a signal change on the number one proximity sensor, confirming that it is in the home position. The system will always seek the home position when no other action is being called. The freewheel function allows you to temporarily disable the stepper motor driver by holding both buttons down at once. This lets you move the escapement by hand if needed. That's all for this video. Check the links in the description below for STL and code downloads, as well as links to buy the hardware in the video. If you liked this video, let us know down in the comments and we'll make more like it.